My name is Jun Yamashita. I'm 23 years old and I just started working this year. I was able to find a job at an amazing company that everyone knows. And I've been living a wonderful and fulfilling life. Or I was supposed to be. Mm. What are you sighing about? Oh, hey. This is my co-worker that worked here a little before I did. He's also my mentor, but he's kind of a tough cookie to deal with. I really can't stretch out my arms in a small company like this. You think so too, right? Right. I hope someone catches on to how good I am and recruits me or something. <laughs> that was his habit. He actually was a great employee and had the best sales record in the office. That's why no one could ever say anything about his behavior. Because of that, he was even more full of himself. Yeah, maybe I should transfer jobs. Then one day... Um... Y yes? I'm going to be working here as a janitor starting today. My name is Miura. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Jun Yamashita. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Um... Change. Excuse me? I don't want some ragged old lady to be cleaning around here. You can leave and get a new pretty girl to come here. <laughs> what? You can't be saying stuff like that. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. He's kind of known for saying jokes that don't make much sense. I see. Huh? I'm not joking. <laughs> Your jokes are so funny. He started his usual crap. All of my co-workers continued to pretend like they saw nothing. I continued to try to protect her, but I couldn't cover for him anymore. Then one day, I reached the limit. Whoops! <laughs> I spilled my drink! Clean up, janitor! <laughs> what? It's your job to clean up, right? It is. Then clean up! Sir? You need to stop! What the? What's your problem? What are you trying to accomplish here? You're always mocking people. How about considering how someone feels for once? What? What are you talking about? I was just trying to teach a useless janitor. What part of that was teaching? Ugh. I don't understand. What has gotten into you? The runaway, you prick! Shut up! That guy's so... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll help. It's fine. It's my job. No, you gotta let me help. I'm sorry. I'm seriously so sorry. Hmm? What's wrong? N nothing. Never mind. Ugh, I screwed up. Because I went against my mentor, I completely lost my place in the office. I really gotta start looking for a new place to work. Then one day... Hey, I'm a Shida kun What is it, sir? No, what did you do? What do you mean, sir? I just got a corporate order telling you to come back. They asked for you by your name. Huh? They want to see me? Why? You tell me! Get over to Corporate HQ now! Uh, okay, sir. Now I'm nervous. This is the room, right? What is going on? I don't have any idea why I'm being called up right now. Uh, just go for it. 
Come on in. Nice to meet you. My name is Jun Yamashita. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, Jun Yamashita-kun. Um, I heard that you asked for me specifically. What did you want with me? Can you stop bowing first? I don't want to talk to the top of your head. Right. Hmm? What is it? N nothing. What is this beautiful woman with a perfect body? Um, I heard that my presence was requested here. <laughs> what? Sorry, it's so funny to see you so nervous. Um... It's our first time when I show myself being shy. My name is Reiko Sukahara. Sukahara-san, that's the name of our CEO. Yes, that's right. It's my father's name. Huh? So you're the CEO's daughter? Yeah, I guess so. But why is she asking for me? Don't be so jumpy. But... I'm not trying to eat you. If anything, this is good news for you. Huh? Jun Yamashita-kun, would you like to work with me at Corporate HQ? Well, why are you the useless prick? I almost laughed at my mentor's reaction, but I thought the same thing. But I was thinking about transferring anyway, so it was such an amazing chance for me. I thought about it for a short period of time before accepting her offer. My name is Jun Yamashita. There's a lot I don't know yet, but I'll do my best. Nice to meet you all. I don't know if I can do this. Boo! Ah! What was that voice? <laughs> Reiko-san, what the heck? You seem so depressed, so I figured I'd cheer you up. Cheer me up? You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing, okay? What? I'll teach you all from top to bottom. The top to bottom? That sounds, uh, strangely sexual. Reiko-san really did help me out from start to finish. There was so much more to do here, my brain was having a hard time keeping up. But I did my best to try to be the man she wanted me to be. So you... But what is it? Where do you cut your hair? Huh? My hair? A local barber? Hmm, you should try cutting it a little shorter. Really? I have an idea. How about you spend a little time with me next weekend? Huh? What's going on? I can't believe that I will be going out with a woman on the weekend. This is my first time ever. Sorry, I got lost. Oh, I just got here too. <sighs> Man, it's been so long since I've run this much. What? Nothing. I knew she was pretty, but she's seriously stunning. But I... Uh... What is it? Nothing. Uh, seriously. I just don't really look good next to you. Why are you so unconfident? Because... Uh... That's why we're going out today. Huh? We are. I didn't know why we were going out at all. Just come with me. Oh, okay. I was led by Reiko-san all over the place. I just quietly obeyed and had my hair cut and bought a bunch of clothing. Um, I don't have much money. It's fine. You can pay me when you get richer. I'll cover for you today. But I might never get a promotion. Why are you so unconfident? You might have become the next CEO for the Sukahara Group. <laughs> Me? You never know. 
Then I had a suit custom tailored for me. A tailored suit for me? You say something negative again, I'm gonna throw you off a bridge. Throw me off it. Just try this on. Okay. It's two thousand dollars! That's too... Shut up! Try it! <sighs> Why is he so unconfident? He was so... I'm done changing. How is it? Uh, oh! Reiko-san? I mean, you look good, but anyone would in a suit like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I shouldn't wear an expensive suit. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Honestly, I was a little excited. This beautiful woman that anyone would be happy to talk to was helping me out. Especially a man, but that's why. Why me? I couldn't stop questioning her motives. Maybe she's just messing with me. Then one day... Whoa! Hey, sorry about that. No, sir, sorry about... The CEO? Hmm, you're, uh... I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, my name is Jun Yamashita, and I... I know you. I've heard from Raiko. Huh? Reiko-san? It's the first time we've ever spoken face to face. I see. What has she been saying to him? I want to thank you as your father. She said you really saved her. Saved her? I know it's weird for me to say this as a father, but she looks good, right? I mean, sure. She's also the daughter of a big corporation. A lot of the people around her are all over her. But the second you can't see who she is or what kind of title she has, no one cared about her. That hurt my daughter deeply, but you weren't like that. You cared a lot about her, and you were incredibly kind. Um, what are you talking about? Hmm? Wait, did she not tell you anything? Tell me what? Uh, she's always so open with everything. I guess she's that serious. Um... Maybe this isn't something I should be telling you, but... I've told you this much, I have to tell you. The CEO told me an insane story after that. One of our branches had apparently been getting an increasing number of complaints. They tried to investigate, but they couldn't find anything. That's when Reiko saw an undercover to try to find out what was going on. Undercover? No! Thanks to Reiko, we were able to figure out the reason. The reason? Someone that was supposed to be your mentor. Seems like he's been pretty horrible. Enough to make our company look bad. Oh. I had him quit, actually. I see. But Raiko forgot about the initial reason she went undercover. She was super excited. Dad, I have someone that I need to have work for us. She told me about how kind and serious and diligent you are. Normally, she's someone that likes to keep quiet and mind her own, but she was fine with drawing attention for you. She was so passionate that I had to agree with her decision to get you, too. I see. She thought about me that way. Reiko-san! Yeah, you surprised me! What is it, Yamashita-kun? 
Reiko san? Yeah? Sorry, I didn't realize how you felt at all. Huh? My feelings? I didn't realize that you cared about me that much. She really cared about me and how much I could help around the corporate. Huh? C cared about you? I understand how you feel now. Huh? I'm not a good enough man to live up to your expectations yet. But one day, I'll be a good enough man to do great work. So... Please, give me a little more time. H huh? Are you pro... pro is that a no? Uh, it's all too sudden! We haven't even gone out yet. Ugh, but fine. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much! I'm gonna answer her expectations and work hard. But he's proposing out of the blue. This man is... That's how I started working hard to be a good enough man and work for her. Then... Take good care of my daughter. Sure thing, sir? It's her one-year anniversary since you proposed to me next week. <laughs> mm, right. I only thought about work, so I just kept giving confident answers. Thanks to that, I started doing great work around the office, but I wasn't expecting what was coming for me after this. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And don't forget to check out our other episodes, too. According to my calculations, you are about to like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.